The nicest thing about this is if you embed YouTube on your page, your customer is not leaving it and mm. getting distracted by pictures of surprise kittens. Yeah, okay. When that's they get true. to YouTube. Yeah, I think that's another key that people forget about. You want to keep people on your page for as long as possible, no exactly. matter what. And once they leave, odds are they're not coming back. Exactly. Okay. And not just that, but you do want to make sure that customers, when they visit your page, they see that there's some things that are dynamic and would change. Like mm -hmm. if you've got upcoming events, you've got the website we saw earlier with the special discounts. If they know that things like that are going to change constantly, they're going to think, hey, I should go back and look at it. Mm -hmm. So make sure you put in those elements that keep people coming back and put in things that keep them on the page. Yeah. Why are you sending traffic to YouTube? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so a couple other questions here. I'll go ahead and pull up another website. Um, another question we had was, does the overall layout of the website expand to fit an individual screen, or do you need to preset it? Nice thing about my business site is it's going to already, as you see on the one that Aaron had up right there with the Dustin Maid service, Dustin Back Maid service. Ooh, that's a bad one. Close that. Yeah. We don't want we don't want GoDaddy on our page. <laughs> um, what you saw there is the 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 main text is sitting in the middle of the page, and it's always going to auto uh, adjust itself to be in the middle. And then um, you're going to see that those those sections on the side is what expands. So whatever the color you have in there or the pattern, that's going to be what adjusts to the individual page. Okay. So you don't have to worry about setting that page width. It was something that was really complicated a little bit, you know, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. But we're taking care of that now. It's going to adjust depending on uh, what their their size is set to. Okay. Well, this is A1 Energy, uh, a1energy.net not.com, a1energy.net, and uh, you can see, uh, I mean, this this is, the, the good thing is once I get there, I kind of have an idea of what they do, mm -hmm. right? It's got something to do with, with energy, electricity. I like the image. Uh, that's definitely not something that is from our image library. They've, they've uploaded this uh, separately, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I like that. Um, everything's pretty close to above the fold. Right? Yes, it is. Yeah, so I mean, it's that's a really nice job of that. It's another key, and you can read here quickly exactly what they do. Pretty simple, pretty, pretty standard. Just out of curiosity, Aaron, are those uh, pictures down there—the Lancaster Chamber or Afric—are those linkable? They those sure are. Those are actually linked. Those are great. It's always good to, if you're going to have an image to have it linked. All of these are linked directly, and. Um, you can see it looks like they're going to have a news and events section, but it's pretty straightforward. I mean, this kind of gets into the whole my business site method, keeping it simple and easy. You know, it gets you online quickly. Um, and it looks like we've got a couple questions. Yeah, just before we go from that topic, yeah. I think this is really a great example of even though we've given you 125 different businesses you can choose from with default text and default pictures, mm. at the end of the day, you can get rid of all of that text and all of those pictures and put in whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. And change the layout and change the colors, and you can see that's exactly what A1 Energy has done here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions you'd like to hit before we go? Uh, one of the bigger questions that's been coming in, we have a lot of questions coming in about the email marketing tool. What is it? Oh, why do I need it? How do I use it? Oh, okay. That kind of thing. Yeah. Um, we did see on one of the websites you pulled up, actually, they had the sign-up for the email marketing tool directly on their website. Mm -hmm. um, the email marketing tool is something we developed um, to make it easier for you to keep in touch with your customers. And one of the hardest things to do in email marketing is getting people to email about your product or your company. Yeah, building, building, building a list, list, building a database of people to, to email. Yeah. So with the My Business Site package, when you do get that plus or the advanced packages, you're going to have the email marketing tool in it. And when you're actually in the editing um, view for your site, you're going to be able to see the email marketing tool as an option in there. If you want to just go ahead and uh, add element down below, find us on Facebook really quick, or maybe just below the video is fine. I'll do here, add new element, and right here, newsletter sign newsletter up. Sign up. The newsletter sign up, when you click on that, is going to give you an option for inserting a way for people to sign up to your email marketing tool, which is linked to the email marketing tool that lives in your control panel. Uh -huh. Because again, what we said earlier, you're going to be managing it a little bit separately. Yeah. So you can choose what kind of fields you want to have on there, what's required for them to fill in, it's uh, behaving a little bit funny. It must be something we have open. And then you can see from there you can also open the one-on-one email marketing tool within your control panel. When you open it up within your control panel, it's going to be uh, really easy to walk you through. The tool itself, what it does, is it's going to help you in not only managing the list of people who've signed up for your newsletters, mm -hmm. for your email marketing communications you're sending out, but it's also going to help you set up a template that you can use to email these people. So it's going to set you up with everything you need to create an HTML newsletter, the ones we receive every day in the hundreds in our Gmail accounts. Mm -hmm. 
and you're but gonna, yours will be different. But yours will be different because it'll be, it'll be good. Because you'll be able to go and change the colors, change the text, put in your logo, and it'll walk you through that. It's also going to give you the options to test the email, so you can send it to a couple of different email accounts. Make sure it's showing up the way it should. Mm -hmm. We've all had an email come in that we couldn't see. Mm -hmm. You don't want that to be you. It's really nice. It has a testing feature in there. Yep. And then you'll also be able to have the different lists that you're managing in there, so you can decide who you want to mail it to and when. And you can see here we've saved the form, and this is what people would see. They would come in. They would sign up. Boom. It gets saved to the database that you have of contacts, and then you can start pinging them, you know, not too often, but maybe once a month or so, uh, a couple times a month with special offers, with news about your company, what's going on, and, you know, that's how you build uh, a customer base. Exactly. Yeah. And then the nice thing about this, too, is since it's automatically importing it to a list that lives in your control panel, mm -hmm. Aaron, you do not have to individually retype all of those email addresses over. Oh, uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's, uh, save that. some time. Yeah, that is, that is awful. All right. Well, uh, I think we've taken up pretty much everybody's time today, and I apologize for running over. Um, if you're still with us, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out. I hope you learned something from the uh, webinar today. Sandy, thank you for uh, joining me. Thank you. As always, a pleasure, Aaron. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for uh, attending today. We're going to be sending you out an email. It's going to have some great information for you, some uh, 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 reminders and where to find some more information about the, my business site product. And uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to go over to facebook.com slash one and one or twitter.com slash one and one. We'll be able to answer your questions there. Uh, but you, like I said, you'll also be receiving an email and you can go ahead and just shoot me an email there. All right. Well, once again, everyone, thanks for attending today and we look forward to seeing you at the next event. Have a great day.